guys, it's Charlotte, and today's video is going to be a tutorial, kind of, um, on how I run my dogs and all the gear that I use to go on my runs with my dogs. Bijou's probably going to freak out soon because, Bijou, we're going to go on a run! Are you excited? <laughs> Fun? You want to go on a run? You want to go outside? On the run? Usually she barks. Mm, I heard a whimper. <laughs> Are you excited? Did you say that I have my shorts on so you know we're gonna go on a run? <laughs> Look at her tilt her head. Biscuit will be coming too. Yes, it's basically going to be a video on the equipment and gear I use for running my dogs. Whoa! And everything I use because it's actually quite a process of all of the things that I use and I've gone through a lot of equipment, but I've kind of streamlined <laughs> my equipment and what I use now. And I'm really excited to share it because it really helps, especially for making sure that you don't hurt your legs, you don't hurt your knees, and the weight of the dog's pulling is more equalized throughout your whole body instead of all one place or trying to hold the leashes. Kill me. But I tried that once, and then that was the end of that, <laughs> especially when you have two dogs. Okay, but here, let's go. I feel cursed because Bijou's like sad and watching me from inside now. But we are going to go over some of the equipment I use for myself first. Here. Okay, well that's just going to be the lighting, sorry. Okay, so a nice outfit, good for running in. This is just basic. Um, these are the nice long shorts I got from Aritzia that I love. But that's not stuff. The best thing for running I have found is actually a mountain climbing harness. And this is what I use. I actually wanted to create a harness for running the dogs. One that was like, you know those kids swings that you would swing on as a kid where it's like you're putting on a diaper? <laughs> I thought that's exactly what I want for running the dogs. Like that's the exact style I want. But there's no such thing. So I went to Mac, MEC, or however you pronounce it. Or, or no, you know what it was? I was at a Pilates class, blabbing my mouth, talking to the lady about how I want the certain kind of harness for running my dog. And she said, why don't you try a mountain climbing harness? Yes, I have to give her credit, it was her. So then I went, I looked online, went to MEC, and we picked out, well, I picked out <laughs> this mountain climbing harness. So it's really great. I'll show you me putting it on. You step into it. Uh, this style, this was just like a cheap one. I needed like one that wasn't expensive. So I just got like the cheapest one. Bijou actually like broke this. Yeah, you just slide it on, you step into it. There you go, stepping into it. I pull it up and then usually here. Usually I have it about here. So you could pull it up and then pull this up even higher pull this higher like that but so there it is around there and honestly these aren't as tight as they should be and this is like too tight I haven't tightened it I keep saying I'll tighten it and then I never do so there's that <laughs> you could have it up here like this but I find that it's easier on my back if I have it more around my hips there so as you can see it's kind of like around my but and kind of pushing the booty in and also kind of around yeah like right where your hip dips would be is where i put it and i find that this really works for distributing the weight properly so it pulls kind of more on my hip adductors and on my glutes and then this kind of helps like i'll switch it sometimes too like i'll pull it down more or i'll pull it up more when i'm running to see what works what feels better because sometimes my abs are hurting more sometimes my back's hurting more or sometimes my um, my glutes or hip abductors are hurting more so then i find yeah up here is where it hurts your back more well it puts more strain on your back and down here you can kind of like have your strong core like that's regular and then when i'm running i always have my core really engaged you know so you're ready to go i always have really engaged and here i can keep it engaged and run whereas when it's up here I feel like I can't keep it engaged and I just get pulled by her whereas when it's around here I can really keep my core strong without my 
body going up and down and everywhere. And when she pulls me, it's more around my legs and glutes, which I've actually noticed my butt really grew from that as well, which isn't a bad thing. So definitely wear the harness around here. A lot for just one item, which is my harness, but I really love it and I really find it helps. So yeah, that's my harness. And then my shoes. These are my shoes I run with everyone. And I've been saying this forever on my fitness blog when I used to be on Tumblr a lot. I would always say this, there's not a certain kind of shoe that, one, that everyone should get. It's very specific to your foot type, how you run and what kind of exercise you're doing. So I live in the country here. You can't see, you just see my trailer, but I live in the country. So for me, I need trail running shoes. And these ones also fix an instep, I believe it is. It has like support here. Stability, stability for in, cause that's how I run. And that's what really helps me. So for me, I need ones that have this stability. And these are also Gore-Tex. These are about $200, these shoes, they're Asics. I haven't found any others than Asics that have both stability and also the uh, uh, Gore-Tex is very hard to find. But then I can run in the rain, I can run in the snow. Literally, I can run in any weather. And when I was in Vancouver, I was running to school in these. They were trail shoes, so not perfect for the city. But I was running to school every day and they don't get soaking because they have the Gore-Tex and they don't even look rubber. So these shoes, like honestly guys, I love them. They're amazing. I should tie them when I put them on, but instead I just flop them on. And they last a good couple years too and they're great. So yeah, shoes for me and my stuff shoes. Okay, now we move on to the dog stuff. That is dog stuff, but a leash. Very, very basic. This, I have this way attached to me here, attached to the harness. Make sure that you get a mountain climbing harness that has a spot where you can hook on the leash. I also kind of wish that it had it, like other spots, like, that I could make it so it attaches here and here as well. I have another coupler that you can have it attach here and here, but I feel like right here and here would be better, like to have a double leash going here, attaching to each side to distribute the weight properly. But this one, I just have been using this. So I did have one where I could do it on both sides, but it broke and I actually liked that. But then it's harder on the back. See, it's always different. Anyways. Make sure you have a harness, a mountain climbing harness that you can attach it on there like that. It stays on really good. This one, I just have a, yeah, a single. And here it is, um, this, so I can hold on to it if it's really, you know, flex the abs. Literally, it's like you use all your core strength and to hold her back. Bungee, I'll try to find a link to one like this from Amazon. Um, and then it goes here and then just like knots from it. And then the end I have attached to a leash coupler, which this leash coupler, one of them's longer, one of them's shorter. I give Biscuit the longer one so she can get away from Bijou. Um, and this one's bungee too. I like the bungee better than the straight. They say bungee encourages pulling, but it's just easier. So I use that and these each attach to the dog's harness. So. This one's Biscuit, attached to Biscuit. This one attached to Bijou. And I find that to work so great. Then it's all in one, and this is also attachable onto this. I think when you guys got for this one from me off my Amazon wish list, actually, it just came like this, and then you can attach it to like this. So, like the equipment adds up, but you have to kind of buy everything separately. You can't really buy it all together. Like, you just have to buy it separately. But it's really ideal. So ideal. Also, the weather's freaking ideal, right? It was so beautiful out. I was like, should I record my video tomorrow? And then I was like, it's beautiful out right now. Okay, but anyways, that's the equipment I use. Um, now I'm gonna show you the dog's harnesses and stuff that they use. Like, it's a lot of equipment and a lot of like tips and stuff that you guys should be aware of because I've gone through a lot of things. Like, I had another harness that was just like a very thin one. Yeah, very important to have a thick waistband so that it doesn't like just like destroy your like bind right into you um very good to have a thick waistband 
and then I also had one that was just around the waist but when it's just around the waist and not around the legs the problem is that it's not distributing it here so you're using your abs really like you're pulling the dogs pulling you and unless you're like really really strong which they've made my abs strong but even still then it's hard she's so strong she pulls so when it's just around the waist it's pulling you and you lose your balance but with it a bit more around the hips and with it around the legs as well this whole part is really working your abs as well my abs always engaged when i'm running but also the legs and the glutes so much my hips my glutes are always sore after running my dogs at night i'm like oh it's like you know foam rolling is important then but it really works that area which is so much better to be feeling soreness in your glutes than pain in your back pain is just like oof. and i run them daily i have to she's a border collie biscuit comes along for the ride <laughs> if you have improper equipment or if you're doing something that's putting strain on an area it's just gonna lead to lead to a mess so that's why I thought this video is really important and I've really gone through a lot of trial and error to find good product that worked for me so yeah that's kind of like my dog running product I use for me but let's move on to what I use for the dogs Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna stop teasing you Bijal Biscuit I'll have to catch you because she always goes under the couch but she loves running so but Bijal I'm sorry that I was standing there the whole time and you were sad inside crying wanting me to go in the ring with you but we do get to actually go on a run now so let's get your harness which is oh my god they're both here biscuits harness bijou's harness bijou's is an extra large biscuits is a small wow of course this is a kurgo harness i like this one because it's inescapable so biscuit she's a big escape artist such as sheba she escapes but not from this one it's impossible for her to so this kurgo true fit harness which also came with a seat belt so ideal take this way these are other leashes we just used for taking them out oh my god what an angel um bijou's is actually a really nice new harness that i got from a company on amazon they didn't pay me to promote it they did give me the harness but it's not i'm not being paid to anything that i'm saying they just gave me the harness and they were like if you like it say nice things about it and i actually love it so i want to say nice things about it but it's called rabbit goo that's, that's the brand. But it's a really good harness, especially a special little, this right here. When she's trying to get to Biscuit or she's being bad, I can just, oh, I'm sorry, that was too rough. I can just hold on here and she will not escape. And no other harness had it. She had this harness before. It did not have that. It just had the thing, but this one, literally is like the same as the rough wear but it has this holder which is so great it comes in handy so much and it's so durable and she chews through her harnesses and has not chewed this one yet so thank god for that but i actually really love this harness i'd say order a bit bigger for your dog because bijou is usually a large and she was an extra large in this one going by their measurement she probably would have fit the large still but this one the ex she does fit the extra large so yeah, she looks beautiful in it, and blue is her color, like Hamtaro. So, <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, Biscuits, we're gonna have to try to catch you. Hmm, look at her eyelash. Oh, wow. Come closer. Good girl. Yay. Yay. Okay, Basha. Okay. This is how every pre-run goes. Put my stuff on. Bijou's usually crying like crazy by now. Put it on. I also need to put my hair up. I can't believe I haven't yet. Oof. Around my hips. So as I said, around the hips, guys. Start with it up. And then it usually falls down. I attach this to me. It's usually already attached, but in the end. Okay, and then this one's longer, so it's biscuits. And then this one's shorter, so it's Bijou's. And mom, I'm gonna get you to follow me. And we're gonna show how hard Bijou pulls when we finally get outside. Okay, 
Abs are activated. Bijou's freaking activated. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh. Steady here. videographer now. <laughs>